<laughs> yes, so um, the question is about uh, stores versus residence taxation, whether things are going to change in the, in the time to come. I believe to some extent. Of course, the uh, distinction is very fundamental. Uh, uh, but there are things that will affect this, this, the application of this principle. In the first place, um, countries um, that have been taxing on a worldwide basis, residence countries, will uh, gradually change their, their, their uh, approach. Uh, we already seen in the United Kingdom that they are resorting to some extent to the exemption system. Uh, of course, there's discussion going on in the uh, United States uh, about also a more territorial-oriented uh, approach. Uh, we also see in countries like Holland, which are traditional exemption countries, uh, but that were, I would call, sort of modified uh, exemption countries because they did take foreign income into account in determining the global income for taking care of foreign losses. Well, we have seen... Uh, <clears throat> a little while ago, Holland uh, changed its law in that respect and does not take into account anymore uh, foreign losses. So, residence countries, the typical feature that it takes tax worldwide income is, is, is changing over the years. Uh, at the same time, source country taxation, um, in, the, in the ongoing debate on BEPS, I believe that uh, source country taxing right as laid down in the OECD model distributive rules are, are going to be expanded. Uh, the whole notion of PE, which is of course a very tricky notion because it's historically based on a state of uh, uh, the economy, which is a state as the economy was in the world economy in the uh, late 1800s, early 1900s, has completely changed and we still use this this concept and it has been changed of course over years, adjusted to change the circumstances. But uh, I think BEPS is probably calling for a more fundamental reassessment of the, of the, of the basic premises. Uh, you know, without of course having, having much of a clue how things will be moving, to me it's pretty clear that things will be moving. So I would say five years from now, uh, the way residence countries and source countries uh, operate is, you know, it's fundamentally fundamentally different from uh, what, what we see now. Uh, and about the second question? <clears throat> well, the um, uh, current trends and treaties and interpretation, uh, of course, what we have witnessed over the years is a gradual increase in some countries, a, a dramatic increase in, 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 in core decisions on treaties. Uh, I mean, if you look at the number of cases uh, decided on a global basis uh, relating to treaties, uh, let's say 20 years ago, it was only a, you know, a fraction of what you see today. And uh, India, you know, is certainly a country that has contributed greatly to the number of, of court decisions. Uh, on the other hand, the countries like the UK, where you may have, you know, one or maybe none of a treaty, uh, decision a year, uh, that's certainly too little. India, I sometimes feel, you know, we simply have too many. I, I, the, apparently the, 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 the system in India is uh, structured in a way in which it's uh, attractive for taxpayers to go to court uh, without, you know, many barriers, uh, dealing with all sort of uh, uh, questions on, uh, on treaty application, particularly permanent establishment, of course. Uh, Simply to, 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 to be, have an overall awareness as an outsider like me, you know, a non-Indian person, of where the state of uh, tax treaty law is in the courts in India is sort of difficult given the, the great number of cases. Um, so I think it would be helpful if there would be a mechanism that would um, you know, limit the, uh, the, the, the enormous out, uh, you know, output of cases by, by Indian uh, tribunals. Uh, at the same time, uh, we see, we, I, I do witness an a increase in the quality. Uh, I mean, uh, five years ago, I think at the tribunal level, things were not as good as they were today. So, I, I, in this way, I've got to congratulate, I think, India with the, you know, with the remarkable um, um, you know, quality uh, level increase over the, over the past few years.